Hi, it's Miss Adkins. Uh, this year I teach seventh grade language arts and I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. So I graduated from the University of Cincinnati, go Bearcats, and there I played in the marching band for five years. This is my sixth year at Milton Union and my hobbies include reading, obviously. Um, I like to watch TV and movies, and I absolutely love to travel. I have one cat. Uh, her name is Muffin. I didn't name her. And I'm just a little bit of a nerd. My favorite fandom would definitely be Harry Potter. I have a few expectations for this year, and I'll give you a little sneak peek of those. I just want to make a little note on the supply list. I'm sure you guys have already seen it, but for my class, students are required to have a notebook. I would prefer it to be a composition notebook, but any notebook will do. So I just wanted to make a little note of that, about that so students will have that for the first day of school. Here is what my classroom looks like. Starting with my Read All About It board, students will have a sign out sheet instead of their agendas this year, just due to the times. So door, the turn in tray, board number one, smart board, board number two, missing work. Here's the schedules. If you're curious about the colors, first and second will have Bulldog Black. Third and fourth and seventh and eighth will have Bulldog Red. That's Miss Phillips' desk, the no name board, library. So not much has changed from last year. I know some of you might have questions about homework, so that's what I'd like to talk about next. First and foremost, I do not assign traditional homework. Students are given time in class to complete their assignments, but if you don't use your time wisely and you find yourself with incomplete classwork, you'll be expected to take it home and finish it. So that is most likely when students will have homework. For other assignments, like students' favorite textbook, um, students will be assigned some questions and it won't be due for two or three days and students will have time in class to work on it. So again, making sure you use your time wisely. The only other homework students will have is they need to spend some time outside of class reading their independent silent reading book because Who's Reading is back this year and students, depending on what period they have me, will have so many quizzes that they have to pass for each quarter. And students take a quiz when they finish a book. So we'll talk more about that um, during the probably second week of school. Lastly, if you need to get in contact with me, the easiest way to do that would be by email. My email is my last name, A-D-K-I-N-S, the letter C, at muschools.com. And later on this week, I will be setting up the Teams and Remind information, and I'll have students bring home a little form about Remind on the first day of school. Uh, that way, if you'd like to sign up for that, you can. That is um, another way to get in contact with me. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your summer, and I will see you soon. Okay, bye. Have a good day.